Hi, shifters. Hello. I happy Palm Sunday to everyone. Um, and if you believe, if you don't, that's cool. Happy Sunday. Um, so I just want to do a quick video because the CDC um, recommended that we wear cloth masks or masks when we go about. So I don't know about anyone else. Like I actually work. I'm working during this this pandemic. So I had I had four jobs, but um, I have three jobs now. One's cleaning, one's physical security, and one is in IT um, as a project manager. So IT is, a, as we're all using, is it's, it's deemed essential. So, um, but I do try to go to the grocery store like every week. And that's just literally how I get paid. I shop weekly. So that hasn't really changed other than what's available in the stores. So let me just do a quick video. You guys know I'm natural as far you know, African Afro textured hair. I've been natural for like 10 years. I used to have an Afro and just do different styles and braids and things like that. So when I did that, I actually purchased like what you call, I guess, lock tubes or natural headbands. And that's kind of what I've been using to go out. So if you don't have um, a surgical mask or um, definitely the N95s, I think those are definitely for medical professionals and the people on the front lines and the grocery stores and things of that nature. Um, we You can actually make something. Essentially, you just want to cover your mouth and your nose anywhere where you can, I guess, um, transmit droplets because essentially we're wearing this mask not to protect ourselves but just in case we're carriers and we don't know we want to make sure that we are being mindful of our fellow man right so anyways i'm just going to show you real quick it's very this is a quick video i'll do another one if you all um like a part one or part two or three about how to either sew like a surgical mask or how to fashion your bandana to, you know, I'm not worried about fashion when I'm out here. I'm just trying to get what I need to get and get home or get to work and get home. So at work cleaning, they offer us masks, but they ran out. We think someone stole from our stash. So they told us to just keep our masks on hand, which is really sad. At work, they don't give us out masks, but um, a friend of mine gave me a couple. So I kind of wear those on at work. And then if I'm going out, I'll wear this, um, what I'm about to show you, or my bandana you all saw in my last video. So essentially, these are just like kind of the little headbands. And I may put a little video where you all can see what I have my afro. Um, you all have seen these before. And essentially, that's it. And, you know, I try not to keep it too fancy, but I literally put this over my head. And I just, you know, just kind of wear it like this. And I like it because it's breathable. It's not, you know, it's just really easy. So you can also do this if you really kind of want to get into it. You can pull it over your head and kind of wear something like that. You know, if it's cool or if you just really kind of want to be as covered as possible. I try to take a shower when I come back in. And again, you want to cover your nose. There you go. If you don't, that's too much. And you just kind of want to wear it over your ears. You know. I'm not the most fashionable person. So don't, um, I'm, like I said, I'm more practical. But I understand fashion too. And I understand what's going on. This has changed our society. So just kind of giving you an idea of how it looks. Um. If you really kind of want it to hang like a bandana, you don't want to maybe to touch your skin. I have this. This is another makeshift headband I made with some material. Um, you can just put it through here. Oopsie. There you go. Again, we're trying to do stuff. And we're just thankful that we woke up, right? You know? And so you can do that. You can just tie that. You can put that around your ears. Or you can just tie it like this. So I'm just giving you guys options because I'm still doing the Dave Ramsey plan. I'm still kind of as much as I can live the best life I can. And I don't have time to be trying to get on eBay and, and you know, try to price. I, I don't know what's going on. So you see that? You could just, now if you don't want that, you can put another, this is another headband I made. And I have my afro, which you can kind of put that through. 
you want to tie that up. Oopsie. You kind of just work where you like roll it up. There you go. And you just kind of tie it around. Again, you can do it around your ears. Like, see, I'm not really particular, guys. As long as I don't choke myself, right? There you go. And it's up to you. I mean, if you, like I said, if you want to make it fashionable, you know, you got time, you ain't doing anything at home. Hopefully you're reading and meditating, praying, relaxing, resting, enjoying nature. Um, just talking and, you know, it's positive energy wherever you are. But I know that's not the case everywhere you go. But there you go. So I just want to do a quick video to let you know, like, to be safe and that we want to do our part. Um, I know in certain wars, they actually asked us to, you know, join the military or to go into factories and start making things. And what they're asking us is to stay at home if you can. Like, like I said, for me, I work. I'm not doing dominoes anymore. I actually stopped right before the pandemic, not because of the pandemic, but my son had to talk with me and I'll do a story time about that, guys. But anyways, um, I hope that helped. I hope you can see that, you know, really no one wants to be out here. If you are out here, try to be mindful, be six feet, six to eight feet apart. Um, try, this is bringing out the best and the worst. And some people, like I said, at my other part-time job, we really believe because we left the closet door open that they stole the mask and they stole the gloves. And it's like, look, we're cleaning the facility to make sure it's safe and between shifts and things like that. So that's really odd. But just be mindful of your fellow man. It's another thing I'm going to do a video that I notice when I do go out in the grocery stores. There's like gloves and masks on the ground. There's a trash can right there. That's, that's really, that's a whole nother story I'll get into, guys. But I just want you guys to be safe. I want you to stay inside. Um, if you are using delivery service like Domino's or someone else, please tip. Please pay online. Please just be mindful of the people that are um, trying to stay working and try to stay a part of, you know, um, earning a wage and just getting you the food and the nutrition or the sustenance that you need rather. Okay, so again, coughing like this, or if you have a Kleenex or something like that, but don't just, let's just be mindful of one another. Um, mind shifters, we can do it. I will come, like I said, this is really quick. I'll do like a part two or three or something just about how people are making the mask with or without sewing. If interested, I will do another series on cleaning products. I don't want to show you guys my um, bathtub, but I can't find any cleaning products. So I'll show you just old school, what grandmama and them taught us of how to make your products and even hand sanitizer. So I'll show you guys how to make that. Um, we can do it. And ultimately, if you have a faith or a spirituality, lean on that, lean on your family, your friends. If you're just alone and you're by yourself, you're not alone. I'm here, you know, and other people are here and just, you know, maybe get involved in some virtual chats. Okay, my shifters, again, I will see you guys soon, and I just want you guys to be safe, okay? Be very, very, very safe. Bye.